At the weekend, he said he was looking at transferring at least five Afghan provinces to lead Afghan control by the end of 2010, including parts of Helmand. This was widely interpreted as a commitment to start the withdrawal of British troops in 2010. Well, the Prime Minister shakes his head, but that is how it was reported on every single media outlet. Well, and this, this is a... Well, well, this will be a good opportunity for the Prime Minister to clarify this issue. President Obama said the process of transferring forces out of Afghanistan would not even begin till the middle of 2011. It is important that we don't give false expectations to British troops or mixed messages to anybody else. So can the Prime Minister clarify whether he would expect British troop numbers to start with reducing in 2010 or 2011? Mr Speaker, I made it absolutely clear at the press conference uh, that if he read the full transcript of, he would know that there was no question there was no question of us withdrawing our British troops until the point that we were sure that the Afghans could take over security control themselves. Now, even if one or two parts of a district or a province are transferred in 2010, we will continue to have our troops in Afghanistan at that point. My point earlier was that by 2011, there will be over 300,000 troops, both Afghanistan, American, British and coalition troops. And that is the point at which the balance between Afghan forces and British and American and, and coalition troops will start to change.